so welcome dear students so today we are going to start exercise 3.3 that is substitution method of your chapter linear equation in two variables so let us directly go to the exercise so question number one it is given two equations are given x plus y is equal to 14 and x minus y is equal to 4 so these two equations are given you have to solve these two equations by substitution method. So for this, mark this is equation number one, mark this is equation number two. Now one in place, y is equal to 14 minus x. Next it is equation number three. Now, 2 and 3 in place this is 2x minus y y is 14 minus x is equal to 4 x minus y y is 14 minus x so if you simplify 2x minus 14 it is 18 so x is equal to 9 so x is equal to 9 is the first solution next 3 in place y is equal to 14 minus x that is 9 that is 5 so it is the second solution y is equal to 14 minus 9 is equal to 5 is the solution that is the value of y so x is equal to 9 and y is equal to 5 so this method is called substitution method because we are substituting the value of y in equation number 2 from the equation number 1 from equation number 1 y is equal to 14 minus x and this 14 minus x y is equal to 14 minus x is substituted on equation number 2 x minus y y is 14 minus x is equal to 4 after simplification we are getting 9 and again putting x is equal to 9 in equation number 3 we are getting other solution that is y y is equal to 5 So number 2, s minus t is equal to 3 and s by 3 plus t by 2 is equal to 6. These are two equations, mark this is 1, mark this is 2. These are two equations in two variables s and t. You have to solve these two equations by substitution method. So first one implies s is equal to 3 plus t s is equal to 3 plus t it is equation number 3 next 2 comma 3 in place 2 equation number 2 and 3 in place s by 3 s is 3 plus t by 3 s is equal to 3 plus t plus t by 2 is equal to 6 3 and 2 lcm 6 so multiply both side by 6 so if you multiply by 6 Mm, it will be 6 like 3 plus t by 3 plus 6 into t by 2 is equal to 6 into 6 it is 2 times it is 3 times 2 into 3 6 6 plus 2 t plus 3 t is equal to 36 in place 5 t is equal to 30 in place t is equal to 6 so t is equal to 6 is the first solution so 3 implies s is equal to 3 plus t t is 6 so is equal to 9 so it is the second solution so t is equal to 6 and s is equal to 9 are the solutions
so let us do number 4 0 0.2x plus 0.3y is equal to 1.3 and 0.4x plus 0.5y is equal to 2.3 so this can be simplified if we multiply by 10 it will be 2x plus 3y is equal to 13 mark this is equation number 1 multiply by 10 4x plus 5y is equal to 23 mark this is equation number 2 now this becomes simple 1 implies 3y is equal to 13 minus 2x implies y is equal to 13 minus 2x by 3 it is equation number 3 now 2 and 3 implies 4x plus 5y y is 13 minus 2x by 3 is equal to 23 in place 4x plus 3 it is 65 minus 10x is equal to 23 in place 12x plus 65 minus 10x is equal to we are multiplying both sides of this equation by 3 it is 69 so it is 2x it is minus it is 4 so it is x x is equal to 2 so x is equal to 2 one solution is <coughs> found out so next y is equal to 3 in place 3 in place y is equal to 13 minus 2x x is 2 divided by 3 <coughs> so 13 minus 4 9 by 3 that is 3 so y is equal to 3 is the solution and x is equal to 2 is the other solution so these the two equations 0.2x plus 0.3y is equal to 1.3 and 0.4x plus 0.5y is equal to 2.3 are solved by substitution method So let us do number 5 root 2x plus root 3y is equal to 0 and root 3y sorry root 3x minus root 8y is equal to 0 it is x so mark this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2 now 1 in place root 3y is equal to minus root 3x in place y is equal to minus root 2x by root 3 it is equation number 3 now 2 comma now 2 comma 3 in place root 3x minus it is root 8 into y y value is minus root 2 by root 3x is equal to 0 root 3x minus root 8 y minus root 8 y y is minus root 2 by root 3 into x so it is root 3x minus minus plus it is root over 3 and root over 8 is 2 root over 2 into it is root over 2 and this one x is equal to 0 implies root 3x plus 
2 into root 2 into root 2 root 2 into root 2 2 this and this is x is equal to 0 implies root 3x plus 4x divided by root 3 is equal to 0 next implies multiply both side by root 3 so root 3 into root 3x plus 4x is equal to root 3 into 0 so it is root 3 into root 3 3 so it is 3x plus 4x root 3 into 0 0 3x it is 7x 7x is equal to 0 that is x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 so one value is found x is equal to 0 number 3 in place equation number 3 in place y is equal to minus root 2 divided by root over 3 into x and x is equal to 0 so this is 0 so x is equal to 0 and y is equal to also 0 so these are the solutions So here it is also substitution method. Let us do number six three x by two minus 5y by 3 is equal to minus 2 and x by 3 plus y by 2 is equal to 13 by 6 this is equation number 1 this is equation number 2 so uh, from this uh, this equation so we will substitute from equation number 2 on 1 in the previous ones we have substitution from 1 to 2 here we will from 2 to 1 so 2 in place y by 2 is equal to 13 by 6 minus x by 3 in place y is equal to it, it will be multiplied so 13 by 3 minus 2x by 3 more simplify 13 minus 2x so y is equal to 13 minus 2x by 3 it is equation number 3 now 1 and 3 in place 3x by 2 equation number 1 minus 5y and value of y is 13 minus 2x by 3 divided by 3 5y y is 13 minus 2x by 3 by 3 is equal to minus 2 So more simplify it is 3x by 2 minus it is 3 so we multiply by 3 so it will be 9 it is 65 it is 
tan x and this multiply it is equal to minus 2. So here we are multiplying both numerator and denominator by 3. So implies 3x by 2 plus sorry minus 65 by 9 plus 10x by 9 is equal to minus 2. Now it is LCM 2 and 9 LCM 18 so it is 27x plus 2 so 20x we transfer this side 65 by 9 minus 2 so it is 47x by 18 is equal to 9 so 65 minus 18 so 9 2 times so in place 47x by 2 is equal to 7 47 47 47 cancel so x is equal to 1 sorry x is equal to 1 into 2 that is 2 so x is equal to 2 now what is y x is equal to 2 so 3 implies y is equal to 13 minus 2x x is 2 divided by 3 implies 9 by 3 implies 3 so y is equal to 3 and x is equal to 2 so these are the solutions So let us do question number three, some uh, application based question. Question number three, number one, it is given. So form the pair of linear equation from the following problems and find their solution by substitution method. So number one is given, the difference between two numbers is 26 and one number is thrice of the other, find them. So there are two numbers, let the numbers be, let the numbers are x and y let the numbers are x and y according to question the difference between two numbers is 26 according to question x minus y is equal to 26 and one number is thrice three times of the other so and x is equal to 3y so mark this is equation number one this is equation number two so according to question difference is 26 that is x minus y is equal to 26 and one is three times the other that is x is equal to 3 into y 3y now x is equal to 3y put x is equal to 3y in equation one so x is 3y so 3y minus y from equation number 1 it is 26 3y minus y 2y is equal to 26 implies y is equal to 13 so y is equal to 13 then what is the value of x 2 implies x is equal to 3 into y 
that is 13 that is 39 so numbers are 13 and 39 that is 39 and 13 x is equal to 39 and y is equal to 13 clearly 39 minus 13 is equal to 26 and 39 is equal to 3 into 39 39 is equal to 3 into 13 both the conditions are satisfied So let us check number 2. The larger of two supplementary angles access the smaller by 18 degrees. Find them. Supplementary means, so first let the angles be, let the angles are x and y. So according to question, the larger of two supplementary angles access the smaller by 18 degree. That is the difference is 18. 18. And these are supplementary. That means their sum is their sum is 180. If it is complementary, then it is 90. And if it is supplementary, then their sum is 180. So this is equation number one. This is equation number two. So one in place or two in place, suppose two in place, two in place y is equal to 180 minus x, y is equal to 180 minus x, it is number 3. Put y is equal to 180 minus x in 1, then x minus y, y is 180 minus x is equal to 18 in place x x 2 x it is transferred 198 in place it is 99 x is equal to 99 then 3 in place y is equal to 180 minus 99 is equal to 181 So, 99 and 81 are the angles. So, these are the angles. Clearly, their difference is 99 minus 81 is 18 and 99 plus 81 is 180. Both the conditions are satisfied. Number three, the coach of a cricket team buys three bats and six balls in a letter three bat is bat and is ball. Let cost of is bat is equal to rupees x and cost of is ball is equal to rupees y. So according to question, 7 bets, so 7 into x plus 6 ball, 6 into y is equal to 3800. Cost of 1 bet is equal to rupees x, so cost of 7 bet is equal to 7 into x, that is 7x. Cost of 1 ball is equal to y, so cost of 6 ball will be 6 into y, that is 6y. So together this cost is 3800. So mark this is equation number 1. 
and secondly let us see by three beds so it will be 3x and five ball so 5y so this one 1750 so this is equation number two so these are the two linear equations so we can solve this by substitution method so i just give one hint number one how to solve one in place 6y is equal to 3800 minus 7x in place y is equal to 3800 minus 7x by 6 it is equation number 3 now put this y is equal to 3800 minus 7x by 6 in equation number 2 that is 3x plus 5 into this that is we can write 2 into 3 in place 2 and 3 in place 3x plus 5 into y y means 3800 minus 7x divided by 6 is equal to 1750 now like previous ones simplify this there is only one variables x x so after so, uh, simplifying you will get x is equal to some value so you will get some value of x so then put the value of x in equation number 3 then y is equal to 3800 minus 7 into that value of x divided by 6 this will be the value of y that means cost of is bet x cost of uh, is ball y the values can be found out like this So I will just form the linear equations. You, you, it, uh, you can do the rest part. So question number four is given. The taxi charges in a city consist of a fixed charge together with the charge for a distance covered. For a distance of 10 km, the charge paid is rupees 105. And for a journey of 15 km, the charge paid is 155. What are the fixed charges and the charge per kilometer? How much does a person have to pay for traveling a distance of 25 kilometers? So there is a fixed charge. Let the fixed charge is equal to rupees x and charge per kilometer and charge per kilometer is equal to rupees y. So let the fixed charge be rupees x and the charge per kilometer is rupees y. So for a distance of 10 kilometer, for 10 kilometer distance, for a distance of 10 kilometer, the charge paid is rupees 105. So for 10 kilometer, it is fixed according to question. It is fixed, charge is x plus for 10 kilometer. So per kilometer charge is y. So for 10 kilometer charge will be y into 10 or 10 into y that is 10y. For this 10 kilometer the charge paid is rupees 105 that is it is 105. So it is equation number 1. It is fixed charge x plus it is the charge for 10 kilometer. For 1 kilometer charge is y so for 10 kilometer it is 10 into y that is 10y. And this total charge is paid 105 it is given. So x plus 10 into y is equal to 105. Fixed charge plus charge for 10 kilometer it is 105. It is given. And second, for a journey of 15 kilometer, fixed charge plus for 15 kilometer it is 15 into y. The charge paid is 155. 155. For 15 kilometer it will be 15 into y. So it is given to be fixed charge plus at, uh, 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 cost for total charge for 15 kilometer is equal to 155. It is equation number 2. So you have to find what are the fixed charge and the charge per kilometer that is you have to find x and y. So it is very simple. Equation number 1 implies 
x is equal to 105 minus 10y it is number 3 so 2 and 3 implies x value 105 minus 10y plus 15y is equal to 155 we are putting the value of x is equal to 105 minus 10y from equation number 1 in equation number 2 x is 105 minus 10y from equation 3 plus 15y so simplify 5y so it is 50 implies y is equal to 10 so y is equal to 10 so x is equal to 3 implies x is equal to 105 minus 10y 10 into 10 that is 5 so x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 10 that is fixed charge is rupees 5 and charge per kilometer is rupees 10 So let us go number 5. A fraction becomes 9 by 11 if 2 is added to both the numerator and denominator. And if 3 is added to both the numerator and denominator, it becomes 5 by 6. Find a fraction. Let the fraction be x by y. Let the fraction be x by y. According to question, if 2 is added both numerator and denominator, it becomes 9 by 11. That means x plus 2 divided by y plus 2 this 9 by 11. We are adding to both numerator and denominator. Then it becomes 9 by 11. So x plus 2 numerator and denominator y plus 2 after addition of 2 it is 9 by 11 so it is equation number one so before this simplify this it is 11x plus 22 it is 9y plus 18 in place 11x minus 9y plus 4 is equal to 0 it is equation number one and number two if three is added both the numerator and denominator it becomes five by six x plus three y plus three this is five by six that is after addition of three on the numerator x x becomes x plus three and after addition of three on the denominator y it becomes y plus three then x plus three by y plus three is equal to five by six simplify 6x plus 18 implies 5y plus 15 implies 6x minus 5y plus 3 is equal to 0. So mark this is equation number 2. Now, simply uh, simple the, these two equations can be solved by substitution method. So, suppose 1 implies from 1 implies 11x is equal to 9y minus 4 implies x is equal to 9y minus 4 by 11. So, it is equation number 3. Now, put the value of 9y minus 4 by 11x in equation number. 2 then this 
y value can be found out if y can be can be found out then from equation number three you can find the value of x then this x y y will be the required solution that is required fraction So this is the last uh, uh, problem of this chapter, number six. Five years since the age of Jacob will be three times the date of his son. Five years ago, Jacob's age was seven times his uh, son. What the present is so there is a relation between uh, ages of father and uh, son is given. So let present present is of. Jacob is equal to x x years and present is of son is equal to y years according to question these are the present ages so present age of Jacob is x years we are supposing and present age of son is y five years hence so after five years Jacob age will be x plus five and after five years son age will be y plus five. So five years since the age of Jacob will be three times that of his son. That means x plus five is equal to three into y plus five will be three times that of his son. So x plus five is equal to three into y plus five. Y plus five is the uh, age of son after five years and x plus five is the age of uh, father that is Jacob is x plus five x plus 5 so it is according to question it is 3 times so x plus 5 is equal to 3 into y plus 5 so it is x plus 5 is equal to 3y plus 15 in place x minus 3y minus 10 is equal to 0 it is equation number 1 and 5 years ago so 5 years ago Jacob is, is x minus 5 and son is, is y minus 5. 5 years ago Jacob is was 7 times. It was 7 times according to question. That is 7 into y minus 5. So x minus 5 is equal to 7 into y minus 5. These are the relation for 5 years ago. So simplify this x minus 5 is equal to 7y minus 35 x minus 7y plus 30 is equal to 0 x minus 7y plus 30 is equal to 0 it is equation number 2 Now, one in place, x is equal to 3y plus 10, x is equal to 3y plus 10, it is equation number 3. Now, 2 and 3 in place, 2 and 3 in place, x minus, x is 3y plus 10 minus 7y plus 30 is equal to 0, in place, minus 4y this plus 40 on opposite side minus 40 so y is equal to 10 y is equal to 10 so 1 in place x minus 3 into 10 y minus is equal to 0 so x is equal to 40 so x is equal to 40 that is Jacob says that is father says and y is equal to 10 that is son is so x is equal to 40 and y is equal to 10 so these are the solutions so this is the exercise 3.3 fully solved today so next we will go to 3.4 in detail um, okay thank you